Okay. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. This is Master Paul, and I'm very grateful and happy to be connecting with you today on this live stream. It is a Tuesday, <clears throat> and it is the 6th of the month, 6th of February, 2018. Today we're going to be focusing on understanding fear and its association with the water element. And both of these are rooted in the uh, Eastern philosophies of Eastern medicine. I am not an Eastern medicine doctor, nor have I had any uh, specific training in that, but I have had quite a bit of training in the understanding of this in relationship to the spiritual journey. And I'll be sharing that with you. I'll be using one, uh, one or more of Master Shah's books uh, associated with this subject matter. And we'll be using some uh, practices that he has delivered to us <clears throat> excuse me, that can assist with the release of fear. Uh, many of us have this condition in different areas of our life. Some of us fear, uh, uh, and, it's, and it's intertwined with worry. Uh, and so it's hard to differentiate between the two. Or fear and anxiety. And people uh, uh, have difficulty differentiating between them. So fear uh, is something that tends to impact all of us to varying and different degrees. But there is an interesting association with it and the water element. The water element is something that is in all life. And I'll go into more details in a little while. And how it's connected to various parts of your body. How various parts of your body can be weakened by fear. Or if you have... <coughs> uh, uh, imbalance in that in that part of your body uh, organ then it can also create conditions in which fear becomes more predominant so that's what you can expect today on the these teachings so I hope you're able to stick around if you're not uh, and you would like to know more about this then please know that these are put on podcast and made available through my website and you can also like and subscribe and then you can always come back to my page and watch it later. And the subscribe allows you to be notified when I go live. So I apologize. Uh, today I'm working with some purification. Now, I don't know if it's things that I've eaten or if it's the, the purification vitamins I'm taking to clearing out the old. I'm actually not sick, but it feels like it. So that's what we call purification in the spiritual realm. So you might hear me blow my nose once in a while. I apologize if that's the case. So while we are waiting for others to join us, <coughs> we will check in to see who is with us now. I'm actually coming at you from Master Shah's Tao Healing Center here in Honolulu. Got his bookcase behind me with a bunch of his books. Always a blessing. At night, I sleep with uh, these books in a circle. And to allow a little more time, I'll give you a little story. True story. And this story was, was shared with Master Shah at one of his live events. And during that live event, one of the students uh, stated that their house blew up. The house blew up from a uh, gasoline leak, apparently, a uh, natural gas leak. <clears throat> and um, it was just the couple. There was nobody else living in the home. Uh, it was a two-story house. And uh, it happened in the middle of the night. And so the couple was awake, aw you know, awoken by uh, a bomb basically going off in their house. And they you know, were shocked. They saw fire and smelled flames and um, got themselves to safety. Um, and the fire inspector, uh, when it was all said and done, came and walked through the home, figure out you know, what originated this leak. And, and what damage to the home. The home was, was totaled. But when he opened the upstairs bedroom door, it was as if nothing happened. There was just, there was, there was nothing there. Every other room in the house, the kitchen, the bathroom, the other bedrooms, the garage, everything was in cinders, just toast, blown up. But the upstairs bedroom was fully intact as if nothing happened. Why? This student kept Master Shah's books around her bed every night so believe it don't believe it up to you but this is the power 
of these books, and this is the power of this wisdom. So let's see who's joined us today. Welcome Donna Bawana, aloha, and welcome Crane. Welcome Kristen Webster. Welcome also to Nelson and Diane Dahagran. Thank you for coming. Aloha Heather Houston. Welcome Kristen Rojas. Patrice Whitaker, aloha and welcome. And Carla Cadlec, thank you for joining. Joshua Seifring, thank you for joining. Welcome NNC and Eileen Stafford Long. <coughs> welcome Rohan Bandari and Becky Lafave. Aloha also to Sherry Lee and Don Brown. Welcome Jones Brown and Shelly Patricia. Aloha and welcome Eileen. Kathy Arnold, welcome Becky Lafave. Welcome Samantha Brooks, Criselda. Welcome also to Kathy Arnold and Robin Toth, Julie Abbott. Uh, welcome also to Ingeborg and Heather Clem. Aloha Tatiana. Welcome Kayla Stewart. Welcome Vicky Vivek. M.A. Drade, welcome also to Donnie Rollins. And welcome, Lotzia. Welcome also to Eric Cecil. <clears throat> Thank you for coming. Thank you also for hitting the share button. Uh, so we have some new folks here today. I hope you're able to stick around. It's always good. And welcome also to Stephanie Cannon. Great to see you here, Stephanie. So as we do with each and every live stream, we connect heart to heart, soul to soul. And I chant the mantra of love, peace, and harmony for one round, and it, and it clears the blockages, connects us heart to heart, soul to soul. And it is a healing mantra, so you can always make a request for a blessing. And then uh, if you'd like to know more about it, you can download the song at lovepeaceharmony.org.org. And it is, a, it is actually translated in 42 different languages. And it is requested that you share it far and wide, make CDs, MP3s, pass it around because it's a song that can bring healing to humanity, okay? So let us place our hands in soul light, soul service, hand position. Like a prayer, we drop the left hand in front of the heart center, right hand gently remains pointed towards heaven. Let us close our eyes and fully connect. I will invite in the beings of light for this service today. <clears throat> Dear all layers of the divine, the Tao, the source, to our beloved creator. Dear all the beings of light serving the planet of the light side, including Buddhas and Bodhisattvas, Jesus and Mother Mary, Namo Amitofu and Kuan Yin, all angels, healing angels, archangels, masters and ascended masters, gurus, lamas, sifu, saints, <clears throat> dear the soul of Ganesha and Krishna, and more, all of our individual heavens, teams, guides, angels and saints, the soul of beloved Mother Earth, the soul of all the stars, planets, galaxies, and universes serving the planet of the light side. We love you, honor you, respect you, and I bow my head to each of you. I ask most humbly, most sincerely, as appropriate, for you to please come and join us today to bless this wisdom, this teaching, and any blessings that may occur. Please guide us in understanding the nature of fear and the nature of the water element and its interconnectivity as well as guide this uh, practice. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Dear the Source Soul Song of Love, Peace and Harmony, transmitted to all souls in all universes, we love you, we honor you, respect you. We invite you to please come and we invite all souls in all universes to chant with us at this time. <clears throat> so I will lead you in this mantra. You may simply receive the blessing. You may also chant at the same time if you wish. And Kristen has posted the mantra if you wish to chant along in her chat. So let us begin. Lula, Lula, Li. Lula, Lula, Li. Lula, Lula, Li. Lula, Lula, Li. Lula. Lula, li, lula. Oh, I was in her ling. Oh, I tried red lay. Wang li hing rung. Her musher shung. Shung I ping on a se. Song I ping on her sea. I love my heart and soul. I love all humanity. 
join hearts and souls together love peace and harmony love peace and harmony how 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 thank you thank you thank you welcome dove welcome also gary dowerty welcome stan dabian uh, and anyone else i may have forgotten donnie rollins <coughs> uh, thank you for coming thank you for also for hitting the share button welcome angeli flauta <coughs> and jennifer caress smith aloha welcome thank you for joining so fear and the water element understanding the nature of fear there are several components that when understood can make a difference when we're in fear it's never pleasant and some of us find ourselves in variations of that uh, on a consistent basis it could be uh, fear combined with worry it could be fear combined with anxiety it could be fear associated with a specific condition but not another condition so it could be associated with fear of financial uh, blockages or it could be fear of abandonment uh, so fear very often has uh, has very specific categories it's on the rare side that it applies to every aspect of life if somebody has fear in every aspect of life then uh, they they really need some significant blessings they need some significant guidance and support <clears throat> but that's moreover not often the case um, now there are different things that bring about fear that rarely happens accidentally uh, there's almost in every case a precursor sometimes the precursor is seen and known sometimes it is not seen or known the beautiful part about the wisdom and teachings on the spiritual level with Master Shah's wisdom and teachings is it doesn't really matter if we know the source of the fear or not. Uh, we simply apply the soul wisdom and the four power techniques with the right practices and we can have positive benefits. So the earliest precursor that brings about the conditions of the fear is no different than with anything in our life. We could say if we have an auto accident that it's the other guy's fault. It's clearly his fault. He ran the light. I got hit. It's clearly his fault. And we can say that that's the precursor. But that's also not the truth. The truth for every aspect of our life, according to the wisdom and teachings that I accept and that my teacher uh, speaks about, is that everything has a cause and effect, an origination point. <clears throat> and the original cause for anything unpleasant in our life is a spiritual debt, a karma, if you will. The problem is, being in this life, we don't really remember uh, anything that we might have done that could have created that car accident or that fear or whatever it is that we're not enjoying in our life. <clears throat> and so we have trouble accepting that that's the originating cause. So this is one area in which it could come from and very often does. We like to point the finger somewhere else, which is fine, but in soul teachings and the base foundation of all of Master Shah's teachings, everything has a soul. And that when you heal things at the level of soul first, then the mind and body follows. And there's no difference with that one sentence secret when I'm dealing with fear or when I'm dealing with pain or when I'm dealing with a financial issue. Uh, is there's, if I'm dealing with a relationship issue, the one sentence secret applies across the board in the exact same way. <clears throat> when you heal things at the level of origination, in this case, the level of soul, then everything else that is being impacted will follow. But some people run through this life in fear, in anxiety, in depression, in a, a, a combination of emotions. Today we're talking about fear and <clears throat> Excuse me, let me clear my throat a moment. <clears throat> and so we go through this life with some or all of these, and some are 5% and some are 100%, which is never exciting when you have huge amounts of a particular emotion. 
However, the source, according to this wisdom, lies in our soul, at the level of soul. Our soul is the carrier of all of our messages. Now, this is a very important one-sentence secret. <coughs> when Master Shah received this wisdom and started bringing it to humanity through these 11 New York Times best-selling books behind me, when he started bringing this wisdom, uh, heaven said everything has a soul. He's like, okay, I can accept that. And they said soul is, the, is a message. Well, that's an interesting concept. Soul is a message? Soul is, uh, carries consciousness. Soul carries the energy and matter of Creator. The energy and matter of Creator carries consciousness. Soul is the carrier of message. What message then is soul carrying? It's carrying the message of all of its experiences. All of them. The good ones, the not so good ones. Soul is a carrier of message. So you have heard the Akashic Records, right? What is that? That is a carrier of message associated with your soul. So it's really saying the same thing in a different way. <clears throat> Why is this important and what's a direct association to fear and the water element? Because everything has a source, everything has an origination point. And when we can recognize the source and originating point of whatever it is, we can address it at a far greater level of success than uh, head on, so to speak. So if I had a neck ache, the first step is rub my neck, right? That's pretty logical, feels better. But for many of us, it comes back the next day. Well, I just got a massage that cost $75. How come my pain's still there? Because the source, the originating uh, cause was not directly addressed. And it's no different with the subject matter of fear. Fear has a source. <clears throat> now we look at the categories. The categories could be fear of abandonment in relationships. It could be fear of a financial collapse. It could be fear of never being loved. It could be fear of, uh, of spiders. I mean, everyone can list at least one or two things that are most fearful in their life. There is an originating point for that fear. Some people have extraordinary fear of water. And fear is associated with the water element, which I'll explain more of in a minute. <clears throat> so in dealing with fear and understanding the water element, and understanding that everything has an origination point, we can then start to unwind it. Because, you know, people go to psychologists uh, and psychiatrists for extraordinary levels of emotions, extraordinary anger, extraordinary fear, extraordinary phobias, extraordinary anxieties or depressions. They go to see psychiatrists and psychologists. Well, they could psychology you to death. They could give you drugs, uh, which, which numbs it down a bit. And a lot of us really don't have a choice. We just take those because at least it makes us semi-functional. But at a, at a conscious and subconscious level, we recognize that it's maybe not the best thing. <clears throat> and when we recognize that everything has a soul, we can start to address it at that level. The one sentence secret, heal the soul first and the mind and body follows. Okay, let's put that into practical place. Heal the soul first and release of the fear at the mind level and at the body level will follow. What if it's a financial? Heal the soul of the finances first and at the mind level and at the body level the finances will adjust. So the one sentence secret applies to everything. So that's one aspect of, of, of fear. So then we have the understanding of it in terms of the physical body, in terms of uh, Eastern traditional medicine teachings. Now this is not an area of strength for me, so I'm going to default to Master Shah's uh, book. This is Master Shah for those that do not know. And he is a world-renowned uh, teacher, author, and um, he has 21 books, 11 New York Times bestsellers. He is a miracle healer, <clears throat> and he's a doctor, a doctor of, he first got his doctorate in Western medicine, 
Uh, he was in China, received a Western medicine doctorate. He then went back to school and got a traditional Chinese medicine, and he became a world-class acupuncturist. That's another story for another time. You can learn more if you pick up his books. But he knows what he's talking about because he's trained in all these medical modalities, even though he is a miracle healer at the level of soul. And so here's what he says about uh, the water element. The water element. includes kidneys, urinary bladder, the ears, and bones in the physical body. I'll repeat. In the physical body, the water element includes kidneys, urinary bladder. Think about it. Urinary bladder, water, right? The ears, bones, and in the physical body. It also includes in the emotional body, fear, and more. So, all right, so now we understand a little bit about this. Let me go to the other page I marked here and give you a little more essence. Thought I had the right page marked, but I didn't, so give me a moment. There it is, okay. <clears throat> welcome Angeli, Angela Diacomo, welcome Paula Hyatt. Welcome also to Judy Thompson and Erica. And welcome Christina Vicole, welcome Gary Dougherty and Lisa Patterson. Welcome Hoshala, welcome Christina Walker, welcome Susan Birchmore and Angie Taylor. If I missed any, forgive me, welcome. And welcome also Larissa Wood. So I'm on page 44 of the Soul Healing Miracles book. I know it's backwards in your camera. It's called Soul Healing Miracles. And here's what he says further about the water element and the kidneys. <clears throat> the kidneys are located in the uh, lotus of either side of the spinal column, loins of either side of the spinal column. The kidneys are the Zhang authority organ of the water element. The Fu organ of the water element is the urinary bladder. There are energy meridians as well. And the kidneys and urinary bladder are useful and internally and externally related. So they store strong prenatal and postnatal jing. Jing means matter. And dominating development and reproduction. So a lot of people don't realize that the kidneys and the condition of fear are very, 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 very closely related. They also don't realize, uh, and this is all scientifically validated, <coughs> the very first excuse me, organ created when an embryo is come to manifest in the human body is the kidneys. The kidneys, right? The kidneys are responsible for the bones. They're, they're, effect, they're directly related to that. They're related to the ears. They're related to the water aspects. What is the human being made up of mostly? As a child, 90% water. Therefore, kidneys, water element, fear all associated okay <clears throat> inherent essence of life he goes on to say there is normal conditions the vital inherited essence of life is stored within the kidneys both before and after birth it is inherited from the mother and father so vital life essence is inherited it is then inherited from the mother and father and then developed by the nutrients and other essences taken into the body um, this vital essence of life is then transferred into the qi. Remember, kidneys create jing. Jing is matter. Qi, qi is energy. <clears throat> uh, and taken into the body, the vital inherited essence of life is then transformed into qi to assist the body to grow and reproduce. These are under normal conditions. So, he goes into much greater depth in this book on the nature of the water element uh, and fear. <clears throat> what is the key of what we're trying to say here? The condition of fear has a precursor. It has a cause, an origination point, but it affects our body. In reverse, 
we could have a weakened body and it affects the condition of fear. It works both ways. Fear is a carrier of message. What's the message it's carrying? It's carrying something that's not supporting us, therefore it's weakening in our kidneys. If we have weak kidneys, weak kidney production, weak uh, bladder, bladder conditions, um, weakened bones or bone conditions, <coughs> hearing or hearing uh, difficulties, all of this could impact fear and fear could impact all of it. It's quite interesting, the interconnectivity. I had no idea about this until I started uh, training in some of these wisdoms and teachings. <clears throat> so Master Shah teaches, how do we address it? Well, we address it at the level of soul. Because when you heal things to the level of soul first, then the mind and the body will follow. So fear is an intangible, it's an emotion, right? So you're saying that how do we heal an emotion at the, at the level of the mind and the body? Well, we actually do that using the four powers. Master Shah brought to us the four powers, which is body power, where we place our hands is where the chi goes. <clears throat> Sound power, what, what we chant is what we become. So there are certain mantras that carry frequencies uh, that assist in modulating and balancing the imbalances. <clears throat> Mind power, creative visualization, what we focus is where the energy goes, where the chi goes. And then soul power, remember soul is the carrier of message. <clears throat> if we have a significant fear or significant problems with these other five uh, areas of the body, then it stands to reason that if we fix one, it will fix the other. If we fix the other, it will fix the original. So it's, again, the interconnection. We could, for example, <clears throat> do things to boost power to the kidneys. Go see a, a Eastern medicine doctor. He gives us certain herbs, certain uh, uh, things in our life that boost the power to our kidneys and if you pay attention you notice that there is less fear as a result but we could do specific practices for the condition of fear at the level of soul and it would impact the other so let us do it from both directions at once <clears throat> this is the great value of the wisdom and teachings of master shah give me a moment Deeply apologize, coughing in your ear. Uh, welcome, Kuika. Welcome, Elizabeth. Uh, and welcome to Sherry Dow. If anybody else I missed you, forgive me. Welcome, Kristen Strachan. Okay. The fourth power, the most important power of the four power technique is soul power. Soul power works with the ability to change message. So remember, soul is the carrier of message. Your Akashic Record carries the message of all your lifetimes. The good thing, Akashic Record changes, blockages at the level of soul change as well. <clears throat> Said a different way, if you have constant neck pain, don't know why, it's a karma blockage. It's sitting there in your Akashic Record Then multiple times you and or your ancestors harmed people's necks. Pretty straightforward, simple math. This is called a uh, soul is the carrier of a message. Okay? <clears throat> you can do all you wanted to do down here at the earth level, and the pain is still there. However, if you're able to release that blockage at the level of soul, uh, if the Akashic record reflected the release of that spiritual debt, then at the soul level also, the area of the neck would be much lighter. It would not have darkness around it. Because, you know, your soul is a light being. All of our souls are light beings. But it does have uh, fog around it, if you will, in the areas that are um, karmic, that there is uh, excess spiritual debt. So when we apply Master Shah's teachings, we are applying it at the level of origination, at the level of soul. <clears throat> so how do we do that? We communicate to the level of soul. We recognize that if we have fear, if we have blockages in our kidneys, in our bones, in our ears, in our urinary bladder, that there is an interconnection. And we ask forgiveness, base teaching, we ask forgiveness for this lifetime, for any lifetime, that we have created the conditions of fear 
that our ancestors have created the conditions of fear upon others. What kind of conditions would that be? Very important, because when you do a forgiveness practice, people go, oh, please forgive me for creating fear. Very topical, not deep at all, not filled with compassion and understanding. <clears throat> think about it. You've seen pictures, you've seen moving uh, motion pictures of the 14, 15, 16, 1700s, the Black Plague, all those things. What if one of your ancestors was one of those that uh, spread the Black Plague? It's possible. Some people were not very pleasant. What if one of your ancestors was someone that uh, was a ruler of, of the land and, um, and controlled the people that were that were taking care of the animals and the livestock and the sheepskins and everything else with force and power and they were always in fear. <clears throat> what if um, there were conditions brought about where the water was tainted? Okay, water element. And then people were fearful of drinking the water. You don't know what the conditions were, but you want to take a few minutes and recognize what if in a previous time you were a, 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 a wealthy banker and um, you kept people in fear constantly about losing their homes because you threatened to take it if they don't make their payments in time. Uh, they were fearful about losing their livelihood, about the kid's education, blah, blah, blah. We don't know. We just know the fear that we're experiencing, right? And the fear that we're experiencing can often be very specific, as I mentioned before. Fear could be specific to finances. Guess what? If you're fearful about losing money, fearful about financial conditions all the time, just, just you, you can't seem to get out of it, that means that it's a very good possibility that you and or your ancestors in a previous time created that same very unpleasant fear in others. It's that simple, okay? If you have fear about uh, uh, never being loved or being abandoned, guess what? Just look at what was caused upon others in previous time. You may have abandoned others and they had great fear. Or you may have uh, uh, made promises and vows of love to people and then left them. And so they fear a giving of their heart and being in love. And so it's actually very easy when you look at your fear you isolate what specifically are you fearing. That's exactly where you ask forgiveness. This is soul power, dealing with things at the level of soul, because that's where the karma is. That's your soul is carrying that message and it will not let go of that message until things are brought into balance. It will not let go of that message until you are, um, until, until those forgive you and you forgive yourself and you bring it back into balance through consciousness, okay? Uh, it's basically no different than you, you don't really own your house until you pay off that debt and then it's your house. You don't really, you're not really free of these spiritual debts until you acknowledge them and do a true forgiveness, okay? Now, I know many of you know this, but that is for those that aren't so familiar with it. <clears throat> so we're gonna do this practice together. We're going to start by a hand mudra position, four powers, body power, sound power, mind power, soul power, body power. Place one hand over your heart center, the other hand, left to right, over your kidneys. Okay, your kidneys are above your lower back. You have two of them. So place one of the hands there. Close your eyes. If you can see me, then your eyes are not closed. Visualize and see in your kidneys golden light, okay? See light coming from 360 degrees, boosting power to your kidneys. So even though we're going to reduce fear through the soul power, we're going to empower the physical body, which will in turn help with the uh, release of fear as well. <clears throat> so that's the body power. Sound power, we're going to chant yo, yo, y-o, yo, yo, ya, yo, dao. This is a mantra in one of Master Shah's books that collectively boosts power to this area of the body. No time to explain it. Let's go, kind of go with it for now. That's the mantra. Yo, ya, yo, dao. Uh, visualization, golden light. Now, soul power. So with your eyes closed, <clears throat> fully connect, and if it is comfortable, repeat after me. 
Dear my beloved divine creator, I love you, honor you, deeply respect you, bow my head to you with deep gratitude. Thank you for creating me. Thank you for the opportunity to experience life and do the best I can. Dear all souls in all time, if I or my ancestors have ever created conditions of fear in your life through manipulation, through power, through control, if I or my ancestors have ever taken things from you and created conditions of fear, if we have ever caused you to lose your jobs or your source of financial security and as a result you had great fear. If I or my ancestors have ever made vows of love to you, promises and then broken those vows creating fears, fears of abandonment, fears of not being loved, fear. If I or my ancestors offered any unpleasant thoughts, words, or actions that have created fear in your life, then from the bottom of my heart, I sincerely apologize. I am not that same person today. I would not create such unpleasant emotions upon others. But I recognize now that it is a possibility that in times that I do not remember, these kinds of spiritual debts had been created. And I recognize now that this fear that I am having could be caused by some mistakes that we have made. I sincerely, from the bottom of my heart, apologize and ask your forgiveness. I will not make the same mistakes again. I promise to do my best to help others to be happier and healthier. I am very, very grateful for the opportunity to receive your forgiveness. Continue. Now we connect to the souls of our body and our kidneys. So repeat, dear the soul of my kidneys and my water element, you have the power to strengthen yourself. You have the power to release fear. You have the power to gather the light and the love from all the beings of light that are present and to release these blockages. Do a great job. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So now we will chant the mantra, Yo Ya Yo Dao, while you're visualizing light coming into your area. Also, stay in your mind in a place of deep forgiveness. There are many souls, very likely, that had been hurt uh, with times that you not remember. So be in a place of deep forgiveness. So let us chant, Yo Ya Yo Dao, 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 yo ya yo dao. Yo ya yo dao. See the light gathering in your kidneys. Yo ya yo dao. Yo ya yo dao. Yo ya yo dao. Yo ya yo dao. Yo ya yo dao, yo ya yo dao, yo ya yo dao, yo ya yo dao, yo 
ya yo dao yo ya yo dao yo ya yo dao yo ya yo dao yo ya yo dao continue focus on your kidneys focus on your greatest love to all those that have been living in fear for so long send them your love ask forgiveness yo ya yo dao 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 continue to chant silently <clears throat> I want you to visualize that your entire soul is floating up to heaven. Continue. Floating up to heaven to a beautiful mountain lake area. Yo ya yo dao. Yo ya yo dao. Yo ya yo dao. Yo ya yo dao yo ya yo dao see yourself at this lake notice the beautiful waterfall the beautiful 20 foot tall waterfall go to the waterfall Yo ya yo dao 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 The waterfall is heaven's water it is crystalline in nature. It is pure energy waterfall. It is the essence of the water element. When you move your soul underneath the waterfall, feel the bathing of your entire soul, releasing blockages in your water elements, clearing blockages in your kidneys. Yo ya yo dao 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 <coughs> Now invite all of the souls that you or your ancestors have ever brought fear Ask them to join you in the waterfall. Millions of souls come. There is plenty of room. Heaven's waterfall can, as can expand as big as it needs to. 
they now are also receiving blessings to release their fear. They are receiving blessings to forgive you. Yo ya yo dao, yo ya yo dao, yo ya yo dao, yo ya yo dao, yo ya yo dao. Yo ya yo dao, yo ya yo dao, yo ya yo dao, yo ya yo dao, yo ya yo dao. And visualize all of those souls much brighter, shinier, happier. They all look at you and say, thank you. We forgive you. We are very grateful for this opportunity to finally forgive you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And they go their own way. And you, your soul, returns to you. Bring your soul back to your body. Yo ya yo dao, 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 and now feel your energy. Feel your frequency. Notice how warm you are. Notice the vibration on the end of your skin. Let us offer our gratitude, bowing our heads gently. Thank you, thank you, thank you to all the beings of light. Thank you to heaven's blessed crystal waterfall for clearing our blockages. Thank you to all the souls that have offered me their forgiveness. I am so honored and so grateful. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. How, how, how. <clears throat> so when you are ready, open your eyes and feel free to share what this experience was for you today. For some people that are new, they wonder, you know, can this kind of a uh, practice truly have an effect to reverse the condition of fear? The answer is absolutely. It absolutely can. The key is consistent practice because we have lived many, many lifetimes. So we and our ancestors have made many mistakes and those could have created great blockages in people's paths. And so that creates blockages in our lives when we create blockages in other people's lives. So it's important that if you have a significant emotional um, issue, such as fear, that you do a practice like this many times, once every day. There is uh, stories from people have shared with Master Shah where they just did a practice very similar to this every day and they were able to overcome lifelong stage fright of being able to talk in front of people on a stage where nothing worked but this worked why because we're dealing with things at the level of origination at the level of soul this is the power of the four power technique and the application of it, it does not require belief it only requires practice the belief comes as a natural side effect as the benefits naturally occur so I hope that helps to make a deeper understanding. I look forward to reading your comments <clears throat> about your experience. Anybody had third eye? Share what you might have seen. Gary said, freeing to be able to communicate and ask forgiveness from the divine only known so many generations. Yeah, you're very welcome, Gary. Glad to offer this wisdom. Aloha, Sima. Seema may have come in a little late. You might want to watch from uh, the beginning in case you missed it. It was a very good wisdom and practice on releasing fear blockages. 
And so um, I do encourage uh, those of you, especially if you have uh, damage in your kidneys, bones, ears, condition of fear, pick up you know, one of Master Shah's books. Literally, it can be any one of them because they all carry um, power to assist you. The one I was working with was Soul Healing Miracles, and it's a, a very good book, a very good practices in there. <clears throat> um, very grateful, says Tatiana. Susan says, feeling relaxed, and saw the souls under the waterfall, and one held up their hands and the peace sign. Beautiful. Heather McNee, this was so beautiful, she could feel tingling in her body. The waterfall was crystalline. It was a beautiful waterfall, wasn't it? It was a pretty amazing waterfall. It's very, very, very healing. Diana says, thank you so much for the topic today. She just stuck on it for weeks. And now during the practice, she was shown as well how this is connected to her ancestors' karma. Yeah? <clears throat> and this is, this is you know, something to comprehend. We may be very good people doing very good things, and yet we still have you know, a significant depression or significant fear or some kind of emotion that hangs over our head. Often it has to do with something that we or our ancestors may have done. Doesn't mean that we're bad people. It means that we need to recognize that soul is the carrier of message and the message may need to be acknowledged and released through practices like this. Seema, is there anything for serious allergies? Her sister suffers a lot. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, there's no short answer to that, Seema. There are blessings, absolutely, that can be offered. Uh, yeah, there are. You might want to check with me after this, and I can give you a little bit longer answer. And you can connect me through Facebook Messenger uh, or through my email, uh, a soul healer at yahoo.com. It's also listed above at my website. Kathy said she saw blue white balls, then soul rainbow light ball went to heaven's beautiful waterfall. The greatest waterfall expanded for so many souls and all the souls left joyous. And she saw a giant green dragon eye at the end. Wow, beautiful sharing. So yeah, this is a very powerful uh, wisdom when we recognize it and apply. That's always the key. That we can all be uh, uh, intelligent, but it's not the same as wisdom. Uh, wisdom is intelligence applied. So let us apply what we learn. So if any of you have significant fear, you just want to have it gone, I would recommend that you contact me. I do offer individual, very high level Tao blessings. Uh, I can explain the significance of them and how they work. The honor fees are very reasonable when you compare it to how much we spend on psychologists and pharmaceutical drugs and everything else. No promises that it will remove everything you know, instantly. But in my experience, whenever Tao blessings are applied to any condition that people bring, uh, there is almost in every case a noticeable measurable difference. So if you want to know if a pear is sweet, you have to taste it. If you want to know if a Tao blessing can assist you, with an emotional condition or any condition for that matter, then contact me and we can discuss what it can do for you, okay? So I thank you for the opportunity to serve you today. I will be back tomorrow, same time, same place, and we'll chat more then. Love you, love you, love you. Thank you, thank you, thank you to all of the beings of light who have come. Please respectfully return. Gong song, gong song, gong song. Thank you, everybody. Thank you for sharing and letting other people know about these live streams. And I will see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.